When you are in the market to buy a new home, the question you may be asking yourself is, what is my better option, new construction or resale? Well, here to help us sort this out in this week's Realty Rant is Victoria McGuire and Pavel Gomez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pavel, filling in for Vince this morning. We like it. Uh, I, I like being here. Vince is out and about. I know, busy. he always is. We need to put a camera on him and spy on him, see what he's doing when he's not <laughs> what here. What is he up to? All right, so let's talk. I'm glad we're talking about this. I bet this is a, a a big topic that comes up a lot with clients when they're really trying to decide. Everybody I would think, I want new, I want new. Yes, of course, it's very appealing mm -hmm. to the public and there's so much new construction going on in our area, so that is a valid question. Is this still a new construction? Is it still going pretty strong right now in the oh Bay Area? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, if you go up in the mm -hmm. northern part, especially, I mean, it's just exploding up there. Wesley Chapel, mm -hmm. Land Lakes. There's you can't drive a tenth of a mile without right. seeing a new neighborhood. So it's definitely everywhere. But there, there's even new construction in South Tampa mm -hmm. and the whole greater Tampa area. So definitely worth considering if you're in the market to buy a home. There are pros and cons to both, of okay, course. Okay, which we're going to go over. You're going to do new construction, right, Victoria? Yes, yes. So obvious new construction pros are you get a brand new house. You don't have to worry about any systems breaking down. You've got a warranty on the property that the builder provides for you. You've got ample inventory, so you're not um, you know, competing so much to get that house because there's plenty of them available. Um, the other thing is that the builder oftentimes will pay your closing costs Ooh. for you. So it's a less I was gonna cash. ask price. I was wondering where price was gonna fall in pro or con with right. new construction. Yeah, well, depending on the area, a lot of times new construction might be a little more affordable, especially if you don't have cash to bring to closing because the builder will cover your closing costs if okay. you use their preferred lender in most cases. And they'll also give you some nice incentives so you can make some upgrades to your property. Uh, the thing that a lot of people don't realize is you can use a real estate agent when you're buying a new construction and you actually oh, should. Just like, what are the benefits? Why? You should because we can help you get a better deal than you can on your own. Oh, good to know. You know those agents that are working on site for the builders, they work for the builder, have no doubt. You know, they're, they're their employee. So we can you help you on your side to be yes exactly to be on your side i'm not hearing any cons so the cons <laughs> though the cons are you will get a much smaller lot you know okay. the builders are trying to maximize their profits obviously so they're putting more properties on smaller pieces of land and the other cons are um you're going to be kind of stuck in that area this is something that people don't think about very often if you buy a new construction home and you suddenly get a job transfer and you have to move and that builder is still building in that community, it's going to be very difficult for you to sell your home. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you and have living to... with construction too, I'd imagine, if you're one of the first ones in that neighborhood. Exactly. And the other thing, you kind of get more of a cookie cutter yeah. kind of home. Mm -hmm. uh, some people that doesn't appeal to them okay. and they would never look at new construction just simply because of that. Okay. Well, Pavel, let's talk about uh, looking at those homes that have already been loved on a little bit. Yeah. And what say you about the pros? So one of the biggest things is you can uh, you know the market inside the community you know where it's been in the past you know it's established, it's established and you can get a good eye of where it's going to be in the future so when you buy the house you know you really get a, a for your equity sense mm -hmm. you really understand where you're going to be 10 20 years down the road so that's lots a big thing. typically bigger too if that's one of the cons lots of are and most of the times they're a lot bigger too they're not just a small mm -hmm. little fraction no they're a lot bigger and they a lot of people have made big upgrades to the property as well. So you're getting things that the builders won't do just because they want to save money. Well, the homeowner does things, you know, luxury updates to make their, because it's their home. Mm -hmm. So they make it more cozy and more them. Okay. Any other pros we need to make sure and get in there? Uh, well, that's, there's, okay. a lot of, there's a lot of different things, though, uh, for pros. Okay. And then cons. I mean, what about pricing right now as far as looking at... Well, the price, you know, one of the big things is you're not getting a new home. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, the, you know, the pricing is just all over the place, yeah. really. Uh, but you, you, like I said, you really do get a good understanding of where you're going to be. Okay. All right. Good to know. And more importantly, get a good real estate agent, though, that exactly. can help you you know, decipher these and put together maybe a list of pros and cons. Yes, and a lot of it depends on your location, mm -hmm. you know, and availability, because that is one of the cons of existing homes right now. 
Okay. There's not a whole lot of availability. So you do have to weigh that, and we are happy to help you do that. We know you are, and we are happy that you uh, join us every week. So thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Tell Vince we said hello. We will. In the meantime, go to RealtyRant.com to look at uh, past segments, and then there is the number to see if you want to go ahead and start comparing some of those in pros, uh, pros and cons today. Yes, you can live chat with us. Don't forget. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Victoria.